Hey YouTube, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the KC Cyclone uh, LED light. This comes as a kit, uh, it's the KC's Universal Cyclone uh, Under Hood Kit. Where does it say the actual, yeah. Two Cyclone LED Universal Under Hood Lighting Kit, it's number 355. Um, I'm trying to cut on some B-roll so you guys can see what's going on a little better, but roll it up. Box empty. There you go. Set that up the side. Okay. Looks like it comes with six small zip ties. Probably keep your wires out of the way. Um, here's your harness. This looks like a second uh, clear cyclone. These are clear, not diffused. So what that means is that this is completely transparent. There's no sort of like opaqueness to it. So there's one. There's two, so two cyclones. Uh, they come with, looks like pretty nice little quick disconnect um, electrical connection. That's nice. Uh, this is a small bracket, looks like, with, it's got three washers and three kind of sheet metal looking screws. Um, Casey sticker. And your harness. All right, so this is just um, like protective coating. Uh, it's not heat shrink, but it's just a shielding for your harness setup. Looks like. Looks like here's your toggle switch. Uh, pretty standard. Looks like this just threads off, and then you. Put in something. Here's your power ground. There's the other. So this is your positive, this is your negative. Red and black. Let's take this apart. So this has a fuse in it. I bet it's a 35. Let's see. Am I wrong? It's a three. Wow. That's way smaller than what I thought. So this has a fusible link in it uh, to protect you from shorting out. connection but get the idea you just switch that's gonna be your cab and this is a pretty short uh, connection so I'm guessing that they're expecting you to have like a switch block somewhere or a relay um, sort of like a fuse block somewhere that you're connecting to or that you're running like in a Jeep or something somewhere the battery is close to your cab uh, my GMC I'll need to have some sort of a longer connection um, the Bronco as well, that's uh, pretty far away. This goes to your other one. Power that on. And then this is nice too, you're not relying on um, grinding the frame, so they do give you actual cables to. Holy fucking jets. off with a jet flu overhead so you also have a uh, black terminal and the black connectors that's nice because rather than trying to just ground to your frame and rely on that connection you can actually go back to your battery or your fuse block whatever you're using uh, let's see the instructions say see if there's any big cautions or warnings that you want beforehand uh, tools needed for the installation screwdriver drill and a wrench this is a a half inch bolt is all that's required, so you could use a uh, self-tapping screw potentially just to screw it directly in. Uh, you probably zip that in if you're kind of on the cheap side, or it's going to get installed. Yeah, I will cut in the instructions. 
But looks like it's a really easy setup. Uh, this could probably be done by an amateur in under a half an hour, outside of just routing uh, the, the lines, because it's pretty much just plug and play. So that's it. Get a little better video for you. Roll off the internet. Zero from there. All right, so KC has done a great job of making this setup super easy to install, even for a layman. So your black wire is your ground power negative, so your black terminal, and your red wire is your hot power or your red terminal. Um, I'm over here, you can see if you run into your cab for some reason, then that's where your switch would be. But you probably put it somewhere in underneath the hood, so you pop your hood up. It's just right there where you need to be. There's your fusible link. And basically, this is running from ground power negative over directly to your lights, so there's no grounding issues. Uh, you just have a straight current uh, that completes the circuit. And then all this switch is doing is interrupting 12 volt power. Um, there's no relay, because this will probably be in the hood, so there's not really a, an issue of like power being run there. And this is a super low draw. I want to say the box says it's a, uh, yeah, it's five watt. So your amp draw is 0.42 amps. It's down at the bottom. So really small load, not a big deal at all. So you run it from negative to the black, positive to the red, and then it's just short or near. I can read that. So your near light gets the short ones. This will be the closest to the battery. And one that's farther away gets the longer wires. And it's a super easy thing to set up.